Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today I'm going to show you 10 wood stove accessories that you just have to have. So as we start off our list today, we are going to start with the most common things that every wood uh, stove or wood fireplace owner should have. And then we're going to progressively get into some more unique things that you may have never seen before. So let's start with something that every wood stove owner should have, and that is a good set of fireplace tools. So I actually have two different styles of fireplace tool sets here from a company called Steel Apart. And uh, this is actually an essential for any wood stove owner. Uh, they come generally with uh, some pretty common tools, a shovel, an ass shovel. Um, I also use this in combination with, with a brush sometimes to clean off the hearth or other things. Uh, and so this is extremely handy, especially with the long handle here for a regular traditional fireplace where you can get in there and get under your grate and get ash shoveled out. This actually has a, a unique poker that I, I like better than uh, a lot of the traditional ones. So this other set here has a more traditional poker. So this gives you kind of a hook where you can grab uh, a log and pull it uh, out and then you can use the poker to push things around. This one here has a hook does the same thing but uh, just has uh, a little bit more useful pull on it so you can hook a log and move things around you can also poke and push with this as well so I like this one a little bit nicer but uh, either way a good poker is essential and then both of these sets also come with some form of tongs uh, the tongs I don't use quite as much but these are um, definitely can come in handy from time to time especially I have had on certain occasions a log that is on fire roll out of the stove onto the hearth and so these will come in handy to grab things like that and put them back in the fire uh, but generally when uh, things are in the fire I'll use the pokers to move things around. Number two on the list would be a good firewood carrier. So I've had several of these over the years. Um, this one in particular is from that same company, uh, the Steel Loop Hard Company. And these are super handy to have. I have all of our wood stacked you know, near the home. So some of it is in our garage, some of it is right outside on a deck. And I bring loads in every day that I wanna run the fireplace. And I also combine that with a good uh, firewood holder here. So I have this one here that has really tall sides on it. So I can actually come in with this firewood carrier full of wood and just set it right in there. And I generally will load this uh, with my biggest logs on the bottom smaller logs uh, moving up to the top and then I'll throw some kindle, kindling right on the top of this and that will get me started with uh, starting a fire in the morning or from scratch. Number three on the list and this is something that I have shared in other videos is welding gloves. Welding gloves are extremely handy. Uh, again, if you have uh, coals or firewood that on fire that, that nudges toward the edge of your, uh, your wood stove or your fireplace or even moves in or you just want to move things around a little bit, things that are hot, having a pair of welding gloves is extremely handy. So you can use your pokers, you can use your tools, but sometimes just throwing these gloves on and moving things around that are hot uh, works easier. And so these actually, you can grab a, a log that's on fire as long as you don't hold it too long. So welding gloves are uh, extremely handy to have next to your fireplace. Number four is a torch. Now this is a map gas torch. Uh, this is what I prefer. I use this for plumbing and, and other things, but. In the winter time, this is kept right next to our main most used fireplace. This is extremely handy to quickly start fires. I'm not messing around with matches, I'm not messing around with lighters, and I can start kindling on fire directly even without paper. I can start all the cardboard on fire, anything I use to, to start my fire. This is extremely handy for fire starting, and so this is a must have for me. I keep this right next to our fireplace and use it all the time. Number five, I would say, would be a good ash bucket. Uh, this one has its own small shovel with it uh, that is kept right on the side of it, but generally what I end up using is the longer handled ones with my fireplace tool set. Um, having an ash bucket near, near or next to every single one of your fireplaces, whether you have a wood stove or wood fireplace or a wood burning insert like this behind me here, these are extremely handy to have and just a must have if you're gonna be burning wood for any period of time throughout the winter time. The trick is with wood stoves is that you want to keep a decent uh, little bed of, of ash in there. It will help keep coals burning overnight if you're burning your, your wood stove you know, daily. Um, but you, So you don't want to clear it 100% out. You want to leave a little bit of ash in there, but you don't want too much because that can actually end up smoldering the fire and, and causing other problems. So keeping the right amount of ash in the bottom of your fireplace is uh, essential to keeping it running at its optimal performance. So having a good ash bucket is definitely a must have. Number six on the list is uh, some kind of a 
steaming device. Now this is a cast iron kettle that was given to me by a friend. Uh, thank you to Adam and Liz. And we have used this a couple times. It doesn't actually fit on this wood stove. It was it would have been much handier on our old wood stove. Our big had a cooktop on it. Uh, but our, we have a wood burning insert downstairs that this will fit on the, the edge right in the front. It's a little bigger shelf. And this is great to just keep water in. It helps to, to keep humidity in the house. Of course, you could use this for um, heating up water for teas or coffees or uh, cooking or other things like that. But uh, this is just handy to have, especially wood heat will, will dry out your home uh, pretty well. And so keeping this filled with water, you get a little steam in the air and it actually helps to hold heat in your home a little better. So number seven on the list is some kind of a, a I think they call this a bellow. Uh, this is an old one that I got actually at a resale shop. I think it still has the still has the little, the little tag on it. Uh, this is uh, this is pretty handy to have, especially if you're having trouble starting a fire. If you've got, uh, you know, sometimes you, you get everything in there, you get everything on fire, and it's and it's going well, and then it starts to die out a little bit. It just needs a little bit of air. Now you can sit in there and blow in your fire if you want to, or you can grab something like this. is handy to have around. Just do this a few times, maybe for 30 seconds or so, into some hot coals. We'll get that thing roaring in no time. So this is very handy to have around. Uh, certainly not necessary, but uh, definitely makes starting fires easier in many cases. Numbers eight, nine, and 10 are all very similar products, but they all have their own purposes. And they are soapstone accessories for your wood stove. I got these years ago from a company called Vermont Soapstone Incorporated. They are out in Vermont somewhere. And one of the most used things that I have gotten from them is this little soapstone coffee cup. Uh, soapstone has a very unique, oh, that's very hot. It holds, <laughs> it holds heat very well, so I actually, uh, it, I engraved the SSL Family Dad logo on this one. This has a soapstone, it's carved soapstone, so it's a solid stone cup and it has a copper handle on it. Now you can see some steam coming off of here. Uh, I just set this on the edge here to warm up a, a cup of coffee or warm up water and you can just kind of throw it on there instead of keeping stuff in the microwave or putting it on the stove, you can easily keep stuff warm just by setting it on the edge of your wood stove. It doesn't take long at all. That absorbs, that soap so it'll soak up a ton of that heat and it holds it there. So you've got a nice warm drink all the time. So these work great on wood stoves with cook surfaces, fireplace inserts like this with just a small cast iron ledge on it. Um, you could even use this in a traditional fireplace by just setting it close to the fire. If you just set this on the hearth, just close to the fire, it will definitely um, stay warm. Also from that Vermont Soapstone Company are these uh, pots that I have a couple different sizes of this. This one I have actually haven't used yet. Um, it's been brand new in the cupboard. I've got another one that we've used quite uh, more often. You use this very similar to cast iron. It needs to be seasoned. So the inside of this is a little bit porous. And so you'll season this with oil and as you cook it, it actually the surface of it gets more and more nonstick, just like a cast iron pot or pan. Uh, these are amazing at holding heat again, and so you can saute vegetables, you can boil in here, you can use this for any any cooking you would as a cast iron, but it holds heat even better. You could bake in this, you could make pies in this, you could make breads in this, all kinds of different things. And so it has this really cool copper band on it, and the, the lid is, is solid soapstone, as well as the, the pot itself. And so these are amazing wood stove accessories, especially if you have a wood stove with a cook surface. Um, these things work great with that. You can also use these on uh, your regular stove. That's what we use them most often since we don't have the cook surface anymore on uh, any of our wood stoves. So they also make pizza stones, which we also have a couple different sizes of soapstone pizza stones, which are awesome to uh, uh, couple with a wood stove uh, if you have one with a cook surface on it. So, And number 10, although I do have a bonus, I do have a bonus number 11, so stick around for that. But as uh, number 10, uh, more soapstone products. These are actually soapstone cubes. Uh, you can use these in a couple different ways. So these ones I think are technically uh, what they call a trivet. So you, you can throw these underneath uh, items either on your wood stove to keep a little bit of an air gap underneath it, or you can throw these on a counter and it acts like a hot plate. So you can spread these out and then on the counter, and then you could set your hot soapstone dish or your cast iron you know, pan or anything like that on top of these so it keeps them off of your surface so it doesn't damage your, your countertops or your tables. But they also, uh, many years ago, sent, sent us these cubes. These are soapstone cubes and you can use these a couple different ways. These can be put in the freezer, um, cleaned up, you know, washed or whatever and put in the freezer. You can get them down super cold, you know, get them down to zero degrees and you can use them as reusable ice cubes. You can throw these in a drink and they'll actually absorb a ton of heat out of that drink and keep it cold. 
Or you could also use these in the opposite way and you could put them on your wood stove to absorb heat. And once those things get nice and hot, they'll soak up a ton of heat. They'll hold that heat in there and you can throw those in a, a drink or a, uh, you know, a, a, a pot of tea or you know, something that you want to stay warm longer and they'll release that heat over time and they'll keep that, that drink warm. You can drop it right, in, right into the drink um, you know, or, or dish or food or whatever you want to keep warm and then just pull them out, clean them up and then reuse them. So they're like reusable ice cubes or reusable hot cubes, I guess you could say. And number 11 is a bonus. Uh, the other day we did, uh, a friend of mine, Adam, came over and we set up the, the U.S. Army Command Tent. You can check that video out. I'll put a card up there, a link to that video. Uh, we set up the U.S. Army Command Tent, the mobile command tent, and inside he had a portable wood stove and a giant thermoelectric fan. Uh, that is a must if you have a wood stove that does not have a blower. Now our inserts here, they have blowers on them. So check out this one that uh, Adam had set up for me last week. It'll take a minute. Sorry. Well, oh, maybe not. <laughs> that is the biggest thermoelectric fan I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, the cool thing about this is it pulls the air down. So it's going to blow all the warm air down. And... That is awesome. Now that one is a monster. That is the biggest thermoelectric fan I've ever seen and it moves a ton of air. It heated up that tent in a matter of 20 minutes. Uh, that would heat a, a home and, and blow tons of air throughout your house. It just moves that air, uh, tons and tons of air over that wood stove and, and spreads the air out, keeps that air moving in your room. So that's a, a huge help. They also make smaller ones that are less expensive that just sit on top of a hot surface like this. And they're just a couple fan blades. They have dual ones or single ones that will blow air. They don't require no electricity. They just use the, the heat from the wood stove and the cooler uh, top surface. It's a thermoelectric plate that generates electricity that spins that fan. So you don't need to have batteries. You don't need to have it plugged in. It just uses the heat and moves some air on for you. So. Definitely a must have, especially if you have a standalone wood stove with no blower. So those are my 10 plus one bonus uh, wood stove accessories that we use around here. Some cool things that we have found to be interesting, useful, and neat over the years. So I will put links to everything that I have links to uh, in the description and also in a comment under the video here so you can check uh, any of those things out that you're interested in. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Is there anything I left out? Any of you uh, longtime wood stove owners that you have some things maybe that uh, you think are cool that I didn't talk about here? So let me know what you guys think. Uh, put those comments and suggestions down below. Don't forget a thumbs up on the video today. Subscribe if it's your first time here. We'd love to have you tag along the SSL Family Dad channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.